Okay, dear friends, on the countertop you can see some uh, uh, bottles. And as an art teacher, you never find anything that you can throw away, right? So I will use these to make some flour. And I have seen on you, not YouTube, on YouTube and also on Pinterest, there are people using this for making flour. One thing that you see on Pinterest or on this website, people are doing it and it seems so easy. But when you do it, it does not seem so easy. Or sometimes when you do it, it is easy, but may not be so easy for the little hands of the first, second, third, fourth grade students. So each project, I try it one time. So this one, I will try it one time. Okay, I put it closer where my glasses. We are, are we in the right zoom? I do not fast forward. This is the true uh, speed of doing it. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it in such a speed, you can do it with your children in such a speed. Okay, there's no faking, nothing. Just turn it around. And because it's um, it. It is uh, cooked in, so you can use use its uh, its natural uh, bend and turn it over to the other side. Uh oh, this is not easy. So it's not so easy. I can imagine if you heat it up, it will be good. But uh, imagine the. The unhealthy air from the heating up plastic, so I will not do that. This is not so good. So you can press it strongly like this. And you can trim the edge a little bit. Usually in paper it works. And let's see in plastic if it works. Good, it dampen. It equally works.
smells so good. Let me try the Avion. I have cut the Avion already. Make sure there is no curve at the after. Even it has a little bit of okay. Make it industrial and speed it up by doing one direction. This is industrial production, and then we do the other direction. It's not so easy. At least it trains the students, the patience of students. Right? The moral value of this project. Okay, so it looks good. Now we can end it. And Avion is much, much, uh, much, much uh, a secret the plastic. Really good. Difficult to do that. It is okay if it does not bend so well because. Uh, this might be too hard for the little hands of students, actually. Make sure your hands do not get hurt. Use two chopsticks or use pencil to do this. No, it doesn't work well. Anyway. Now we can put in the color. Maybe some hot water can. Now we're we'll, we'll adding. Okay, now we will color it. Some yellow color and metallic blue. Let's try this metallic blue. It seems thicker. The last time before we put in color, we press it one more time. Now try the color. Not in a rush. Nicely, calmly do this. I learned this from um, a YouTube and uh, on Pinterest. I forgot where, but uh, so it's not my creation. Just to let you know. There are internet is about sharing. We are standing, we are walking on the steps of the people that has already tried. We, the only thing we can do is just being thankful, being grateful for what other people has done. You 
can put a second layer of color if you like. But this one looks pretty decent, right? And then put it aside to let it dry. Let it dry. Since I have done another one, so why not go ahead to, to paint it, right? So that I can finish the and uh, the plastic is a little bit too soft, so it's not so easy to paint on. I can imagine students enjoy this project actually. It's very, um, very visual, very immediate effect, and uh, almost no mistake, it's a very forgiving project. Right, almost anything, anyone can do it right, as long you have relatively enough patience. Even if you are not so patient, it is okay. It is not so, not so delicate project. So it seems quite a doable project. Just make sure do not let students. Uh, use too much force and uh, so the color splash all around that will not be good you do not want that to happen and the little Samantha wear a new pair of uh, a new uh, t-shirt new dress and uh, it's better not to get it dirty right about it. Looks good, right? Put it aside. After some time it will be dried. I think it's a it's a good effective project. See you later. I will show you when it is getting dry.